Let's take a look at the Nexus switch from a programmability point of view. So right now is my setup. I'm just actually using CML for this lab. First thing you want to do is you want to activate programmability, right? So I'm going to go into config mode. I'm going to do a feature, NX API. It's great. There we go. Uh, let's look at the commands, right? So NX API. You have certificate, HTTP. That's for access, HTTPS, SSL, uh, and then use VRF. We're going to use, right? Uh, we're going to keep this secure. The reason why, uh, main reason why I want to keep this secure is because if you uh, wanted to open up APIs uh, without um, SSL, um, just regular port 80, um, you have to edit some system uh, security access list, right? So we're not going to get into that. Right now, I'm just activating this port. And I want to use uh, management VRF. So NX API, use VRF management. There you go. Okay, so I'm going to do a command show NX API. There you go. 443 shows our certificate information. Uh, we're listening. NX API is enabled. So where do we go from here? Let me go ahead and 10.1.10.11. I want to show you right now the NX API sandbox. This gets activated right when you turn on NX API. Uh, just to showcase a little bit here, if I go ahead and type show version, which is an, uh, uh, just a command that everybody knows and, and looks at, right? Um, it Right down here, it actually gives you your request. This is what you would do in Python, right? Python 3, everybody's going to be on Python version 3. Uh, import REST request uh, um, library right import json right so these are your libraries that you're going to have that, that you're going to need to be able to execute your python script right uh authentication authentication is already included so if you're not a developer today uh you can look at these and 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 mind you uh there are going to be other examples of python scripting and libraries that we can use moving forward right now this is just to get you open and, and understanding what it looks like in programmability, right? So obviously you can play around with this, but you're not alone. If you're needing resources, right? Uh, right here, NX API resources. This is this comes with it, right? Your documentation is right there. You're gonna use it, right? First link here gets me started in in in, in, in APIs, right? So. All this stuff right here, read this, right? Because it's going to show you how to construct an API. It's going to teach you about the Yang uh, model. It's going to teach you model objects and things like that, which, you know, um, I'm referencing this stuff here, but please take time to go through this documentation, right? Also, look at what it's doing for you. Right now, I'm showing you you're an engineer on site. You have access to an NX OS router, right? Um, you went into that router. You, you saw that you enabled APIs. You go in and now you're using the reference information of the APIs. Nothing that 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 I'm mentioning here, um, you know, takes you outside of, of the realm of, of information. Everything you want to do is provided to you by the NX OS uh, 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 documentation on box. So getting started with Cisco, right? So we're going to come down here. We're going to look at this stuff, right? This is the feature NX API API. It walks you right through this, VRF commands and so forth. I'm just going down this documentation because sooner or later, this documentation, bam, it's going to give me something I need to learn, right? So configuring BGP, looking at the right here, right? This right here is my API and this, sorry, I should be looking closely here. This is my API, but I'm, I'm, I'm looking, I'm going down here. It's giving me information here is giving me configuration uh information it's giving me things in, in in this device right to help me put this into a, a device postman um let's say a, a python script something that that the request library something that that uses apis right and i'm going to demo that for you right but right now information is right here i can actually cut and paste this information right here 
and turn around and 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 submit an API. But I'm going to show you some other things first, right? So we looked at here. We looked at the way this looks at. There's another right here's documentation, but there's another page that comes with uh, NX OS, and that page, you know, comes with you guys are probably seeing it with ACI, but it's Vsor. So if I did this Vsor HTML, this comes again. This 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 comes. This is my. This is how I search my model objects this is my model object store browser right so i'm going to go ahead and log into this and there you go i'm at the sys level right so class or dn right so right now if i want to stop uh, go top level and i just wanted to showcase to you guys uh how can you use this to develop code right to so i'm going to showcase i'm just walking through this thing right now here is everything within my root level of the sys right going down here let me see where i want to stop here because we're going to do some configuration um let's see here some prime configuration topics um how are we gonna let's do uh, i'm looking for interface let me come down and look for install interface here we go right so i'm on the interface next thing i knew i want to walk that here's a dn right so i want to walk that here's my physical interface in fact look at this this right here is showing uh how i would actually walk through with the dn for my interface right so let me go ahead and click on this in fact let me take this and this is a good time to probably showcase how i'm going to use this via postman so I'm going to open up my postman and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put what I just copied and pasted in, in that browser, right? First thing I'm going to do with this is I'm doing a get, right? And, and maybe it's not this interface. I'm going to choose interface that, so 1.1, 1 .1, right? So I'm going to first put in here my, my information for my API, right? I want to go ahead and every one of these are, is going to start with API and in case for this is a managed object for sys, right? And this is a get, right? But the first thing I want to talk to you about is I'm going to have to go ahead and authenticate, right? So you know this port 80, this is authentication. In fact, here's my token that I'm going to get back from authentication that each one of my requests uh, uh, is going to use to, to authenticate into my device, right? So I'm coming here. What I want to do is I want to see the configuration for Ethernet 1 slash 1, right? So I'm going to go ahead and do a get. And with this get, hopefully I get the values that, that are in the system, right? Uh, look at this. I got a bad request. So the first thing I want to point out, the reason why I got a bad request here is, look at this. I didn't tell it what I wanted to receive the information in, okay? So uh, XML, we'll do XML. This right here is giving me the whole interface configuration via XML. You see that? Uh, right now, I'm going to go ahead and change this to JSON while we're here. Look at this, right? This is just a start, right? But this right here, I just showed you right out the gate why it's important um, to, to, to learn where your resources are, right, for programmability, right? So this is just a sample of, of what uh, Nexus offers. This is just an example of how I would utilize the information it offers. And this is something that I think you guys should get familiar with and comfortable with. All right. Thank you for for taking the time to watch this and we'll talk again.